The long march back to Hassan Falk had been futile. Once more, the city had fallen. Once more, the Kuzates celebrated their grand conquest. And once more, Partia al it resolved to take it back. The battalion support to the north had done little to distract the horse lords. Battle after battle, slaughter after slaughter. One by one, they kept riding towards the banners of the Ishkas, as unwilling to surrender the city as Partia himself. But the Sultan stood and fought. His hands guided by the many fallen warriors, his mind guided by the many fallen tacticians, and his heart guided by the many fallen friends. Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome back to another chapter of the Adventures of Partia al Eat in Bannerlord. We stand, we fight. For the people of Hassan Falk, for the people of the Ishkas, for the people of all Calradia. No quarter, no respite, no mercy. Partia, it's been a while. I hear you took Tamnu Castle. Indeed I did, Brannock, and I will be taking Hassan Falk as well. I've got you cornered. Yield or we shall attack. We'll fight to our last drop of blood. And so we fight then. Indeed, we fight. I received all manner of recommendations from you in the comments of the previous episode. Some of you suggested we assault Hassan Falk, take our chances against the walls, take the city, and hold fast as our reinforcements slowly trickle in, hope that this army gives up on their aggression. Some of you suggested we push for a peace, pay a tribute, upset the council, but attain peace nonetheless. Others suggested we speak with Brannock, perhaps barter with him, and bring peace in that way. And some of you suggested we take this fight on. It was hard to pick because it was justification from all sides. It was, you know, a proper explanation, a proper strategy expressed from all sides. Ultimately, it boiled down to me having to make the decision because there was no clear, unified voice from the council. And so to the battlefield we go. We stand. We fight. We have to be very careful here. There is a lot on the line. We are outnumbered. But I don't think we're outclassed. We're going to try something a little different as far as our tactics are concerned. And I know it sounds silly to try something different when uh, stakes are so high. But I think it'll work out for the better. Our ranged superiority is, I think, what we're going to have to capitalize on. And that's exactly what we're going to try and do. Between our archers and our horse archers, if we can manage them well enough... I think we'll come out on top. It does also look like the field is in our favor. Looks like we're on a mound over here. Looks like there's a couple of mounds, and I do believe they'll be rather aggressive in, in attacking us. So hopefully uh, we can stand our ground, fire away, and slaughter them before they even arrive. And when the front lines do meet, hopefully the battle's already heavily in our favor. Let's do this. Let's begin. We're going to pull our infantry back. Move our archers forward. Get them into a loose formation, of course. Horse archers, let's get you up over there, because I would... Yeah, looks like as as expected. Horse archers will also be put into a loose formation. It's been suggested that a, that actually makes them a bit more maneuverable. They also fire a lot more uh, uh, smoothly when, uh, when that's done. So that's good. Our archers are going to stay at the front. They're going to fire away. They're going to kill whatever they can kill. And as soon as the enemy gets too close, that's when we're going to move our uh, infantry forward, get them into position. Uh, and that should allow us to uh, to get a lot more killing done. I do almost wonder if I shouldn't bring my... Ooh, who are you? Also, I, I will have to get more personally involved in this battle, I think. Down goes Ruma. Excellent. Excellent. Off to a good start. One of their nobles has been killed. Archers, infantry holding the line. Where are the horse archers? Back over there. Looks like our horse archers have managed to push them back. Let's send them forward a little bit. I can get a couple kills to start things off. Oh, we had a river and stuff we could take advantage of. In that case, you know what? We're going to go ahead and pull our... No, keep our cavalry back. Ride with our horse archers over here. Pull up over to here. See if we can't fire from here. They have some cavalry over here. Let's pull our cab up over there. See what we get up to over here. 
Firing away, good stuff. Might need to get involved over here. Oh, we got lucky, got a shield up in time. To pull our horse archers back. Go. Go, let's go. Loop around myself over here. Burning radius on this horse, man. Down you go. Not sure who that was, but I looked like a noble. Get some work done over here, hopefully. We scare them off, if nothing else. Okay, good hit there. Horse archers keep falling back. Cavalry keep falling back as well. Let's go. Archers are going to start firing soon, I suspect. You know what I don't like about this battlefield is uh, I don't have a clear viewing angle. I don't have a clear viewing angle. There's so much up and down going on that I can't... Uh, I can't give clean commands. Looks like we're doing okay over here. I need to... Yeah, looks like our archers are getting to work. Good stuff, good stuff. Doing quite well. Drop some of these riders over here. Excellent. Excellent. Go back a little bit. Horse archers. Right across, maybe. They do have their shields up. Hopefully our archers are able to break through a couple of those shields or find the gaps among the shields at the very least. If I can draw these horse archers across the front line as well, I might be able to get our archers some kills. Cavalry over here. Ooh, that was a bad hit. Horse archers pull back, pull back. Come on, up over here. I'll try and get them behind the enemy afterwards. I'll pull the archers back, I think. Or let's send the... Oh my god, look at the... They, they outnumber our infantry significantly. We need to help the front line over here, I think. Even if we're just riding through the enemy, we need to help the front line a little bit. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. In we go again. Beautiful. Alright. Horse archers right up behind. Oh no, cavalry is doing a horrible time. Not good at all. In we go. Can't take too much damage myself. I think we've done alright. I think we pushed their front line back. Excellent. Our infantry has survived, it seems. Our archers are now turning around, I think, to take care of their uh, horse archers and all. And we go again. Some damage in of our own. Good stuff. Let's not get dropped over here. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Horse archers, pull you up over here. Let's go. Infantry still charging. Alright. I can't believe it. I think we've won this one. <laughs> I think we've won this one. Oh. Come on now. Enemies are fleeing. I can't. We've done it. We've done it. We've pushed them back. We've pushed them back. We've won it. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. It doesn't look like we did too poorly either in terms of the damage we took. Now our cavalry was basically obliterated, I sincerely hope. Well done, men. We've won this battle, but at what cost? Are you kidding me? I totally thought we'd lost somebody. I was so sure we'd lost somebody. We did very well that battle. I, I, I would... <laughs> I was so sure that was going to go horribly, horribly wrong. But we did well. We did very well. Um, a little concerned about how much of a beating our cavalry took. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with how that how that went. Why do I see Ottawa's party, but I don't see Ottawa's name here? Not up here either. Ottawa's name is not over here, and it should be. And that's making me very nervous right now. But you know what? Thalman's party, Thalman's name isn't here either. But he's... Najin's party has his... Oh, I don't like this. Nina's party... Hmm... I don't, I don't, oh no, I don't know if I want to hit next. <laughs> uh, what is our own party looking like? Seven dead, 14 wounded. Not too bad, not too bad. We lost four of the uh, heavy cavalry. 
Or wounded. Okay. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. I feel like it's just not listing the characters who didn't do anything, because Varman's not listed here either, and it's impossible that that many nobles died and they all bugged out, right? That's that's impossible, right? Ruma, I think we saw fall right at the beginning. Brannock, I guess, fell as well. Yeah, it looks like anybody who didn't do anything, didn't register a number over here, has not been included. We actually dropped all of their nobles. Wow. I want to check another thing, sorry. Um, Palace Guard crossbows here. Okay, so we... Master Archers got no kill here. I just want to see how our Archers did. I would love to see more details. I, I wish we could see... Yeah, look at that. That's our Master Archers over here got some good kills. I wish we could see like a... um. I, don't, I wish we could see more stats in the After Action Report. Uh, like timelines, uh, you know, uh, the ebb and flow of battle. Who got how many kills when, which unit got how many kills when. Because he did really well. Holy crap. Vlanian Sharpshooters over here. <laughs> That's wild. Like, what, seven, 11 of them got 23 kills? I think that, like, new kind of layered approach helped us in this situation a lot. I think it helped us a lot. That was very good. That was very good. Well done, man. And if it was truly at the cost of no parties or nobles, that'd be huge. That was a lot of gold as well, it looked like. I didn't catch the number because I was too busy looking at Brannock and Zeno being taken prisoner. Ruma, prisoner of my own. You are indeed at my mercy. And Ullman over here, also at my mercy. Wonderful. That's all of them. Indeed it is. 61 prisoners. I do not have room for them. Man. <laughs> really? We have 220 or so soldiers all healed up. I think we're the biggest party that our uh, army has. It's a little worrying. Hopefully our reinforcements will arrive soon. Uh, I could pick up some over here. There's a Khan, sure. Again, the idea being if we are over our limit, then hopefully the um, the ones that get away will be the ones that, like, we can afford to have some get away because we have... I, I don't know how it's calculated the rate at which prisoners escape. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping that this works the way I intend it to, or the way I want it to, or need it to, rather. Here we get some more infantry as well. So many Asteri serving the horse lords over here. So they're doing what they need to to get uh, food on the table, I suppose. All right, done here. That's all the prisoners I'll pick up. Pick up all their loot as well. We're definitely uh, we're over our uh, carry capacity, right? But it doesn't matter because the siege continues. Jeez, that was. I'm surprised. Yeah, it doesn't look like anybody died or anything. That wow. Okay, fantastic. Oh, Surin, Surin was not in that fight. Of the Tigrit? Ah, he's not important. Hurunag is. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. I don't think he'll attack us with just 98 strong. <laughs> oh my god, look at some of these parties. Honestly, I feel like after Hassan Falk is taken, I think I do have to force a peace. Like, let's take a look at the diplomacy screen really quickly. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this, but some of y'all suggested rather than doing a peace from here using our influence, we could have had a conversation with Brannock and, and pushed for peace there. I, I, don't, think I, I don't think I mentioned that uh, before we dove into the battle. Uh, I thought that was interesting. I thought that was a good point. I thought that was interesting. It would be kind of expensive. We probably would have given away quite a few of our merchants' banes to make the peace happen. Um, at least we wouldn't spend, you know, influence. We don't have that much influence. It looks like a lot, but we really don't have that much. Uh, it was a good thought as well. Again, I, I considered all the suggestions for a long time before I made my call. Um, but that was a tense, tense, tense opening to today's session. And uh, you know, tension's fun. Drama is fun. This is a this is a show after all, right? <laughs> for all intents and purposes. Neither Valandian nor Kazate have, uh, have, have, have support for peace. I don't get it. I, some of you suggested that maybe this is a bug. And honestly, I'm kind of starting to feel that way. Considering our circumstances against the Kazate, like, we actually outnumber them now, which is nice. But, like, you would have expected some support for peace over the course of what's been going down for the last however long. Like, geez. Anyway, it is what it is. I just wanted to check this really quickly. And I also wanted to check... Oh, right. I wanted to mention that uh, once we take uh, once we take Hassan Falk, I will get um, our uh, well, at present he's one of our um, governors, but the old Golden, I think, makes a good fighter if I recall correctly, and we will get him to Hassan Falk, and we will get him started up on a party of his own. We need more parties, we need to have more um... yeah, sure, I mean, we've got this unlocked, might as well take it. Uh, we need more uh, people leading armies and, and parties and whatnot. So we're, we're, we're going to go ahead and do that uh, hopefully today after, well, 
I'd like to say when, but I think I should say if we take Hassan Falk back. Um, crafting stamina recovery rate, prisoner size limit by 5. Ooh, decrease their escape chance by 10. I like that. Slightly increase your persuasion chance. Increase your party size by 5. Oh, I like that also. Damn, this is a tough one. We've been doing pretty well for persuasion, but I don't like what do you mean by slightly increase my persuasion chance? Like does that I mean really how much how much of a difference will that make? Increasing my party size by five is nice, but how much of a difference will that make compared to uh the increased prisoner size limit and the decreased prisoner escape chance? Well oh, that's a tough one, man. Damn. You know what? I'm gonna go with having going. I think that's more fitting with our uh, with who we've been all the way through. We've never been athletic per se. You know, stamina doesn't really necessarily speak to us. As much as these benefits are better for us right now, uh, y'all know me, I don't min-max, right? It's all about that roleplay. I think having going is a bit more fitting. And hopefully that slight increase to our persuasion chance actually translates to something. We'll see. Two-handed skill has improved as well. Shield breaker, uh, you know, honestly, kind of tempted considering how many times I've been like, damn, we just hit the shield. Beast Slayer increases damage against mounts. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty consistent with hitting the rider. Every once in a while I hit the horse instead, but I'm relatively consistent. And when I do hit the horse, I tend to drop it. So we're going to go with the Shield Breaker because I do find myself often hitting the shield. So let's go with Shield Breaker. 40% extra damage against shields with two-handed weapons. Sounds good. Falden will be even more useful now. Um, Ottawa, these upgrades are not relevant, which is why we've been skipping them. Najin use throwing so these upgrades are not relevant again why we're skipping them though you do have a focus point available hmm you do have a focus point available up your stewardship perhaps have even larger parties yeah let's do that up your stewardship oh that's a really tiny increase isn't it um but let's also up your intelligence there that's a bit better i think that should I think that should help. His stats otherwise are, are decent. Right? So I think that should help. It should help hone his skills a little bit. I didn't even realize we had so many uh, non-upgraded kind of skills and stuff. Two-handed? Do you use a two-handed weapon? Level? I mean, there's only one choice over here, so we might as well get the arrow deflection for you. You do have a focus point as well. You told the smith. You've maxed out your smithing focus. Not much we can do there. Athletics? Is there more that'll keep you alive for longer? Please damage... He's got a lot of room over here already, so there's no point, really. Um, I'll I'll save that focus point for 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 maybe maybe throwing. No, he's got a lot of room there. He's got a lot of room for everything. Honestly, this is like, well, what do I put this down in? Riding, maybe, or I don't know. I'll I'll leave it be for now. Anzikin, the Swift, irrelevant stewardship for now. Fred another wronged. Ross was irrelevant for now. Gerathion, Denny, irrelevant. Oh, actually, personal slash governor. I don't think either of these actually uh, make a difference for, for a companion. And then deal the golden. Need to up his stewardship. We'll have to maybe, well, once we make him a quartermaster, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But he's got high leadership, high tactics, right? Anyway, I've spent too long over here. I apologize. I'm uh, just thinking about what's what's to come. Let us continue the siege. And let's also actually check up on 23 hours away. Okay. So close-ish. You guys are so far away. One day, four hours, 23 hours. Anybody else who's kind of nearby? 13 hours. Peric, make your way over. Sure. Hopefully that does something for us. But Suran over here. I don't think he'll engage. Yeah, okay. Unless reinforcements are coming. You bald of the Valanians have been taken prisoner. Okay, good stuff. Rannock of the Cosette has escaped from captivity. It's too bad. Alright, we're recuperating. We're recovering. That's good, that's good. Oh, you've got wounded. Oh, okay, 107. Not too bad. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Okay. So together, there are 185. Where are my reinforcements? How far along are you? 22 hours? 11 hours? 8 hours? They're so, they're so close! Okay, all I can hope for is that these guys don't engage me. They wait a little bit too long. Okay, good, 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 good. Come on, reinforcements. I need you. I need you here. I need you right now. Because they're obviously waiting for something. Yes! Peric comes to save the day. Wonderful. Oh my god. Okay, my heart 
in my throat. Nayantai. Yo, we were literally seconds. We were potentially seconds away from being attacked. There's Abolitos arriving. Look at this. Oh, here they come. Here they come. No, Abolitos, why are you going up that way? Don't run away. I need you here. I'm about to get swarmed over here, buddy. <laughs> oh, no. Here they come. Um, I can't believe he... I Abolit This will not be forgotten, Abolitos. This will not be forgotten. Those 90... Those 100 soldiers nearly would have made such a big difference over here. We're definitely outnumbered. Significantly so. This is kind of terrifying. Got some soldiers we can uh, upgrade or bring in. Go for it. Do what we can. Down over here. Sturgeon shock troops willing to join us? Sure. Alright. We'll take a similar strategy, I suppose, and rely on our uh, ranged capabilities. But here they come. Vashorki, can we speak to you? We can. Oh. Oh, please. That extra persuasion. What will you do for me? Such a pleasant surprise to see you. I hope my men can find some fetters of silver or gold worthy of your rank, as it appears you may be gracing us with your presence tonight. I hear you took Tom New Castle. Oh, I suppose I'm obligated to give you a chance to grovel for your life. Will you surrender then? Take your hand. Perhaps you don't have to come to blows. Your liege Monchug is not worth your loyalty. I'm the rightful ruler of the land. I would like your support. I don't even like you. You expect me to discuss something like this with you? We're going to take a chance over here? You must know of my reputation. You know that it's not in my interest to betray your trust. Okay, at least it's not a critical fail. No, that's not enough. I gave an oath to my liege. Onchuk is not known for keeping his word. 100% success chance? Yo, for real? Yes, you might be correct. I've always stood by Monchuk. Whether Monchuk has stood by me or not is another question. We have been together in many wars, including many against your people, the Aserai, I should add. It is well known that you and Monchuk loathe each other. You might be correct. Why change sides now? Once one declares oneself a rebel, there is usually no going back. This man is at least generous. He lacks honor, valor, or mercy. He is generous. Believe me, I'll be generous to those who come to me early. Perhaps not as generous to those who come late. Ah, we're not going to get him. No. Simply not comfortable discussing this with you. Yeah, those hundred percents, though. We'll fight to our last drop of blood. No, you know what? He came in with some attitude. Actually, I think you're the one who ought to surrender. And so we fight. We outclass them, but they outnumber us. Oh, man. <laughs> the battlefield. Let's see what we can do. We'll take a similar tact over here. Use our ranged, hopefully, superiority. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Looks like a similar, if not the same, battlefield. Let's begin. Guys, into a loose formation. Riders, right up this way. Get you into a loose formation as well. Are we good? I think so, I think so. Yep. Yeah. They're up over there. Yeah, it looks like the exact same battlefield, actually. Horse archers up over here. Cavalry up over here. Let's go. It is tempting to send all of our soldiers further up, isn't it? So that as they're coming over, we... Nah, there's not enough time. The horse archers are too uh, aggressive over here. Fire away. Get myself involved as well, of course. I must. Ah, just missed it. Let's go. Come on, how am I missing all these swings? Come on now, give me at least some damage. There we go, there we go, there we go. Good stuff, good stuff, pull back. Cavalry up over here, still firing away, yeah. This archer's getting the job done a little bit. Forcing the enemy back. We go forward a little bit, just gotta be careful. We want to pull back if necessary. If we can fire away while they're wading through the water, that would be great. I imagine we'll get some kills. Don't get distracted by this man. Fire away. Oh, come on now. 
I'm gonna have to pull back. Might be time to pull back any second now. Doing all right. We're doing all right. Pull back. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Our archers are getting some work done. That's excellent. Riders ride through. Let's go. Off involved over here. Maybe a little too directly. Go ahead. First archers pull away even further. Let's go. I need to keep my eyes on the front line as well. There's just so many moving parts right now. First archers pull back. Let's go. Archers are getting some work done as well. Looks like it. Cavalry pull back this way. Let's go. Get the high ground over here so I can see more clearly. There we go. Horse archers up over here. Cavalry up over there. Still firing away. Yep. Yeah. There's a rider in our midst. We've dropped them. Yep. Yeah. We're firing away. We're good. We're good. The riders are up over here. And work done. They've got 80 archers. I need to be very careful about that. Move our horse archers back a little bit. Hopefully fire into the backs of the enemy, right? They've got their shields up and all that. They're doing quite well. Get ready for our charge. Any second now, any second now. Horse archers, right out that way, let's go. Cavalry, get up over there. Warriors, charge in, let's go. I gotta help. Whatever it is, whatever I can do to distract the enemy. Get them swinging at me instead. I think we've done quite well there. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Well, the riders coming through over here. All right. Okay. I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Ah, missed there. Honestly, like the, <laughs> the level of tension is is making me completely flub my my uh, my swings. We're okay. We're okay. I think we've scared them off. Indeed, our infantry is like chasing after these uh, horses. Fair enough. Let's get our horse archers up over there. All right, I think our cavalry is also uh, charging. Oh, did you see that? That guy got rocked. Good stuff. Let the men train. Let the men train. There it is. Victory is ours. I cannot believe we have stood time and time and time again. Oh, man. What was the cost this time? Siga has died on the battlefield. Not one of ours. When I saw that fourth block starting to roll in, again, my heart just dropped, man. God damn, I don't know how much... I'm like shaving years off my life with this war. Like, legitimately. <laughs> it's like... Well, my life expectancy is dropping. Oh, my lord. Okay. <laughs> just need a, need a second over here. We did quite well. Only 26 fell. We did quite well. Again, I think they're coming at us with weaker and weaker armies. Um, I feel like they had more like militia and low tier soldiers as time goes on, right? Like they keep outnumbering us, but they keep uh, they keep outnumbering us with weaker and weaker soldiers. This 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 is a war of attrition, and we are it feels like uh, relatively successful. Again, the archers on the front did quite a bit of work. I think I need to start doing that more often, not just in times of desperation, but just in general. Like that was. That's been efficient both times. We're getting so many kills, especially against the horse archers that are coming through, presenting large targets. I just feel like it's been working so well for us. Wow. Wow. We're at your mercy. You are indeed my prisoner now, Saran. And Vashorki, a prisoner as well. I guess I was right in my threats. It was them who should have surrendered. We're actually only just barely over our limit. As, as, as people start getting healed up, we'll be able to have more prisoners. Um, let's go ahead and pick up some people, though. Again, in the hopes that at least some decent soldiers stay by our side. 
I really need more. I mean, I don't need, it's, it's hard to, those battles are hard to like get a judgment call on in terms of like what I need based on those battles because our parties have been obliterated. The armies, the other parties in our army have been obliterated. Like we need, they need to go out and recruit more. You know, in fact, what I should do is, what I should do is this. I should, uh, pick up all the loot as well, of course, yes. I should draw some more of the, um, Sega has died in battle. Let's just pay our respects. Why not? We knew a Sega once. The Kulovink. Olek will likely be upset. We'll speak one day. We get along well enough. Okay, this didn't have to be this way. Sega has died. Begum of the Kuzate. Died in battle in 1104 at the age of 61. He was reputed to be pitiless. Wow. We lived 61. Some of mine only saw a few years past 16. Ah, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and see if we can't draw in maybe some more. Let's get Aldhan to join us. No, actually, you know what? Aldhan, maybe he'll form up another army, right? Erenix, let's get you to join us. Seven day. Five day. We know he's defending up against the Valandians, right? I believe he took somebody prisoner earlier. Fine, Aldhan, let's pull you in. Because what I need, what I'm going to have to do is let a lot of these smaller parties go. Right, like, Ottawa over here has six soldiers. Even with all the wounded healed, right? Naj in here, 18. We have 25. Like, these parties have been obliterated. They need to pick up more recruits. Um, it's not just my own party that matters, obviously, right? So we need to just be very wary of that. Once we take Hassan Falk, we're going to have to reorgan reorganize our army or push for peace or something. It, it's going to be it's going to be major. But, I mean, the reality is that the Kuzate, I think, are even more on the back foot now. Tribute continues to drop. Their numbers up over here are dropping. No one wants peace yet. I mean, I guess if we've been so successful, why push for peace is the mentality, probably. But, uh, all right, all right, all right. We're, we're still here. We're still continuing the siege. There's Abolitos finally joining us. Man, could have used you there. Yorig arrives as well. Eckgard has escaped from captivity. Excellent. Okay. Now I feel a lot better. Now we're actually, we've got some numbers over here. We're more than just, you know, a couple hundred soldiers. I feel a fair bit better. Oh, no. We assault. Did it on the battering ram first, eh? Should have seen this coming and should have swip switched, swapped things around. Could let him get a little bit closer. I don't know how much good that'll do us. Like, I don't know how much damage these trebs will maybe do. Oh, come on now. Not even one shot? Not even one shot. But at this point, it's a matter of, like, recuperating some more soldiers before we dive in, I suppose. That's about it, I think. 456. Sure, I'll take it. Anybody in our party who needs upgrading or, or anything of the sort? Wow. All that to get to this. At least we outnumber them more heftily now, I suppose. For the first time in a long time, changing my inventory. Sword and board for sure. Right, because we're going to get fired upon constantly. Where is my... Beautiful... Where is it? Woodland longbow, there you are. Beautiful. And some piercing arrows as well. On here. Lead the assault. How, 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 how long has it been since we've done this? See, the hope is that we get in here, we attack, we heal up, we get to about 600 strong. Hopefully some of these reinforcements arrive as well. I don't know if they'll put us under siege, and if they do, at least we still have the walls standing. And we might be able to reduce their numbers while our, uh, our our reinforcements arrive. And I don't know how long they'll put us under siege for, but we'll find out. Let's first win the city. Lead the assault. Yes, I believe we're ready. Let's do this. I can't believe it. I can't believe it all comes down to this after all. How obstinate can I be? How stubborn can I be? Honestly, I, I if, any other city, and I probably would have just been like, you know what, fine. Let's just have peace. You can hold on to it for now. Let's just have peace. We'll regroup and then we'll come back. But. But not here. Not now.
auto deploy. Should be fine. We're just gonna be like cutting away at the at the gates, really. And a couple of our men will get ladders up. We've got some ladders over here. Got some ladders over here, it looks like. Yeah. We'll try and provide some support. We'll we'll fire away with our arrows, see who we can help get up on the walls. It, it's all about those floodgates. Once the floodgates open, it's ours. Until they do, it's theirs. Again. Right, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Faster, faster, faster. Wish I could see how spread they are and where they are more numerous versus not. Where I need to, like, help. How I can help, in fact, even. Can't even see anyone from over there. See a couple of them over there. But not where I need to, like, fire. Oh, so that guy dodged. Trying to take some losses right off the bat here. I haven't done any archery in so long. Definitely flew out of my element. It's gonna be trouble, folks. Look at those losses. Come on now. Need these hits to land. Going up to their slaughter over here. Oh, it looks like we're taking the walls on the other side at least. Taking so many losses though. So many losses. This guy's just standing there. Well, not anymore. Looks like we're pushing through up over here. Okay, excellent. Let's get in there. Look at this. drop some of these guys. Our trebs are firing away as well. No idea what luck we've had. Oh, look at that ladder come down. Come on, man. Push, push, push. Faster now. Alright, you know what? I think I gotta, I think I gotta get in here. Go. Oh, no. This will not end well. This will not end well. Up we go. Alright, we've made it up. I'm trying to keep myself somewhat protected. Like, one of my sides protected, I mean. You guys are well armored. Again, we just gotta open these floodgates. Gotta let the men up here. Fully surrounded over here. Literally fully surrounded over here. They dropped you. Are our men not coming up over here? They're just standing standing down there, aren't they? Really kind of need you guys up over here. Wow. They're taking their sweet time getting up over here. At least they finally pushed through. Look at those uh, shots they're throwing as well, man. Damn. Taking so many losses over here. We've taken so many losses. Now they come up. Guess I should have given them a charge order. At least they're pushing through. Fair enough. Come on, man. Come on, I believe in you. Big shots over there. Push, push, push. Getting a couple of kills. What about the other side? It's like, just make more ladders, you know? Still completely blocked up over here. Our archers are also, like, just not doing anything. Just not doing anything. They're just standing there. Looking pretty. Come on, man. Fight! Like, your lives depended on it because they do. Reb's firing away as well. I don't know if they've had any luck. Got a couple of kills. Literally, a couple of kills. See those hits? Pretty rough. These guys as well, they're just like standing here, not doing anything. Really don't understand. Now finally they're assaulting the walls, okay. Interesting. Honestly, I should have chopped away at the uh, the gates. Maybe I would have got something done. 
Oh man. Push, 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 push. Get in there. It needs to be a constant flow. What is this? Come on, man. You ever assaulted a castle before? Have you grown so complacent to having uh, siege equipment? There we go. Oof. Took another bad hit from one of their artillery pieces, I think. Oh, we're free over here. Get up, get up, get up. Let's go. See, this is what I mean. This is like so frustrating to watch. It's just like if they had just pushed up this way a little bit faster. We could have we could have pushed through. Oh dear, that was bad. Come on now, let's go, let's go. Push, men, push. Use both ladders at the same time. God damn it! It's going terribly. It is going terribly. I suppose I could speed things up and. Let it all come to an end faster. Will they ever push through? Are you guys even trying properly? Like, yeah, use both ladders at the same time. See how much of a difference that kind of made there? Need more of that. Up over here. Oh, hey, we finally pushed through. Excellent. Now we might be able to get behind the enemy and... Yeah, there it is. There it is. Turning things around. Unless you've given up on the fight. Don't you dare give up on the fight. Looks like they're fleeing. Oh my god. I think the battle is won. That's ridiculous. A big part of that battle, the losses in that battle, were from, and obviously from myself, but also from the AI. Just like, use both ladders, be aggressive on the ladders, climb back to back to back. We need, we need you over the wall. Oh my god. 144 lost there. 144 lost. Mina died. 144 lost. 263 wounded. They're just going to attack the, uh, they're just going to attack the city, aren't they? I mean, I knew it was going to be a rough battle, obviously. That's why we didn't do it right at the beginning of this session. Otherwise, if not for that, we would have done it. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. This is not good. I guess we could pick them all up and toss them in the dungeon here. Nine troops in my party. 1% health. Pick up all the loot. If we're very lucky, this army's gonna give up. Mina has died in battle. An Amira of the Ishkas died in battle in 1104 at the age of 38. He was reputed to be friendly, but manipulative. And Veros has lost a warrior. Man. Damn. Well, at least we took us and fuck. <laughs> Silver lining thinking, I suppose. Still no support for peace. Hassan Falk has fallen to your troops. You may station a garrison here to defend it against enemies who may try to recapture it. Yeah, we've tried that. Many a time before we have tried that. Over to the dungeon. Manage prisoners. Go ahead and just dump, I think, all of our prisoners, basically. Right, like... Dump these guys for sure. Tempted kind of to ransom them, but no. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, leave behind you and you as well. Leave all these lower tier ones behind. Because if I can pick up any recruits, I'll take them. And then we'll, you know, cycle the, uh, the prisoners in the dungeon out. Jeez, I have a lot of prisoners. I have a lot of prisoners. God damn. Guys behind. Leave. You behind, sure. Sure. Um... Yeah, this makes sense, what I'm doing here. Cool, 15 prisoners, it's wild. Again, we can pick up more once our, 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 our party heals up. Again, this is at present at least mine, so I can do this, no problem. Um, if we take a look at the Tavern District, there's quite a few people that we could look into hiring. 
No, uh, no soldiers at the, the Tavern District, though. How long until some of these reinforcements arrive? Three days, three days, one day. 16 hours, 21 hours, 14 hours. Man. That could be good, or they could just be in trouble themselves as well. We'll see what this uh, army does over here. Wait here for some time. That's Mina's party. There's not much left there. Again, we have 515 soldiers, in truth. They just need to heal up. Are they going to attack us is the question. Monchuk of the Kuzade has been released after battle. Uh, looks like we're going to see a siege over here. Wild. Wild. I don't think we've ever seen a defensive siege. We, what, we can only have two catapults? What's the, what's going on over here? Well, what's going on over here? Oh, there we go. At any point in time, I can request a parlay, which means we might be able to, you know, peace out of the situation if need be. I'd be a bit more open to that now that we hold Hassan Falk. Give them a bunch of... stuff, I guess. Oh my god, a hundred... 1,162 soldiers. I don't know, folks. I don't know. Obviously, it'll take them some time to... If we're very lucky... 429 prisoners. Yikes. Because they and the Aster, I have made peace. Fair enough. If we're very lucky, this army's gonna fall apart before it actually attacks us. And it's low on cohesion, etc, etc. Like, I don't understand... The Kuzay, am I mistaken? Am, 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 I, am I mistaken? I could have sworn the Kuzay were at war with the Batanians as well. Um, the Kuzay are at war with the Batanians as well. It's like they just don't care. They don't care what the Batanians are up to. How am I supposed to work with that, man? How am I supposed to work with that? I think we're going to have to push for peace. As soon as they get ready to assault. Legion of the Betrayed have contracted to fight alongside the Valandians, owner of Hassan Falk. We will decide that later. Because for now, we're still, you know, juggling our situation, our circumstances. Stay here. Don't run away. Stay here. Like, be smart about this now. Okay. The camp is up. Laura married Beranor. We have some more prisoners, I think, willing to join us. Oh, some of our soldiers have upgraded as well. Good, good, good. Actually, hold on. I think we could have got a Lancer there. Well, down the line, at least. Okay, willing to join us as well. Down here, over to the dungeon. Oh, can I... Really? I can't even manage the dungeon just because... Well, that's silly. I still, like, I'm still in here. I still have access to the dungeons and stuff. 271 plus 96 plus 75. 360. 400 and something. All right, okay. A little replenishing over here. There's Lek as well. The battering ram done. Oh, man. I'm legitimately not sure which way, which way we're gonna go here. Ullman escaped from Hassan Falk. Okay, fair enough. One tower done, another tower's almost done. Three days away, nine days away, three days, one day, 16 hours. We could try and get Kalatild in here. There's Hudernag passing by. Oh, hello. He wasn't passing by, he was departing. Come on now, keep falling apart. Were they trying to scare off the reinforcements, or... I'm not 100% sure. What was going on there? Something happened there, though. Alright, here we go. Come on now. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. What is in my throat? We're all here. Getting some work done. Okay, are, are we in the mood for peace now? Need to resolve the decision here. That's very frustrating. Oh, I guess I don't need to deci decide right now. Okay, fair enough. I just hit escape. Um, I don't want to lose all those prisoners. What the hell? Like, I put them in there. I've never... I don't think I've ever been in a defensive siege. 
so I didn't realize I wouldn't have access to the dungeon that is down the street, you know? Like, what the hell? That doesn't make any sense. I don't want to leave behind all those high-quality prisoners. Like, that... We, quote-unquote, worked so hard to keep that going, you know? What are we looking at over here? Seven days, nine... I'm not going to be able to pull anybody else in. We're 500 and something strong. Quite a few reinforcing armies over here as well. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. Attackers abandoned the siege. Returned to Hastan Falk. Stop waiting. Oh, patience is a virtue, as they say. My lord, that could have been... <laughs> I was terrified. I was so sure that was it. Um, do I really need to decide this right now? I can't do anything until I until I make that decision. Well, at least now I can pick up all the uh, prisoners if I manage... No, go to the keep. Go to the dungeon. Manage prisoners. Look at... Look at, look at these guys. We can have 50. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick up you, you... Hold on, how many prisoners are here? You know what? I can them all, no, I can't pick up all of them. But I can pick up quite a few of them. I am tempted to ransom these guys off. I don't need money. Look at our, our financial situation is more than okay. I don't need money. The only reason I'm tempted to ransom these guys off is because... Otherwise they might just escape. I guess I could leave them all here. And allow... You know... If they escape, they escape. If I'm lucky, then we'll get a ransom when they get ransomed off, right? We'll get the barter off or accepted thing. Like, I think, I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. Rather than leaving behind soldiers, I could actually recruit Kanuj and you can stay behind as well. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. All right, cool. Done here. Um, let's also manage the garrison a little bit. There is no garrison. No one's left anything behind. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. For as long as this war goes on, Hassan Falk will be a constant target. We've, I think we've learned this very clearly. Um, I can hope that everybody leaves some soldiers behind when I hand this off to Kuzid, right? I can hope for that. Militia of seven right now. If we take a look at the managed town screen over here, everything's been built up, right? Training militia, everything's been built up. They have no food. I can leave some food behind. I got plenty of food. Definitely worth leaving some behind. I'm also carrying way too much stuff, right? Let's Okay, let's go ahead and dump a bunch of junk. We are carrying a bunch of it. Man. This war has seen us do everything. It has seen us do things that we haven't done in a very long time. It has seen us contemplate surrender. It has seen... I mean, geez. We've changed our formations. We've changed... Like, we've done everything in this war. It has been absolutely wild and we are most certainly on the back foot like don't don't get it twisted my heart has been in my throat this entire session been in my throat in the lead up to this session i have been concerned that it was all going to go horribly wrong at every turn we have held on and i'm very very happy that we have i'm very proud that we have but at any moment it could have turned around and gone horribly wrong but I guess that's part of the fun, right? That's part of the thrill. <laughs> oh, my lord. I can genuinely, my, like, chest hurts from, <laughs> from, like, my heart beating so hard. And I wish I was hooked up to a, to a, to a heart rate monitor or something, you know, just, like... <laughs> Man, it's been fun, though. It's been wild. It's been wild. I hope y'all have enjoyed this session as much as I have, because, uh... We, we won some battles that I, I was certain we were gonna lose. I was certain we were going to lose. Raw silk? Is this a new thing? I don't remember. Maybe it used to just be called silk and not raw silk, but that doesn't seem familiar. Um, man, damn, okay. Looking at other trade opportunities as well. Clay, sure, we'll drop some clay off. Why not? Lighten our load a bit. Not really looking to make money. We have dropped off a fair bit of food. Dropped off a fair bit of food, so hopefully that'll do, a, do, do its job there. They have some food already, but obviously not enough. Hopefully that'll help maintain the garrison as people drop soldiers off. They do have still a little bit of money left. Uh, so maybe we leave behind some of these tunics, shirts, these torn robes and whatnot. Definitely drop off a bunch more stuff here. 
leave a little bit of money behind because I don't want them to be completely broke. I want them to be able to buy food and stuff when uh, when merchants come through. We're okay under our limit. Yes, yes, all good. Done here. What kind of armor do they have here, actually? They got decent armor. Not amazing armor, but decent armor. I'm more thinking about, like, if I were to recruit um, a companion here, what I would do. Like, in terms of uh, getting them equipped. Southern Archer armor. That's new. We've got all right equipment, not the best. Done with the uh, trade, I think. Okay, I mean, this is horrifying to look at, even. Um, Tavern District, 10 Asterite Armed Traders. Don't mind if I do. But we are going to put them, I think, into the garrison right away. Yeah, once my party is fully healed up, I'll feel comfortable. Um, we'll put them into the garrison maybe after we've handed it off, because then we'll get some uh, relation buff, I guess. And we'll go to the tavern, actually. You know, the lucky quarter of the the hills, I believe, means a good scout, doesn't it? Lucky, good tech, good tactics, good leadership. I did want to get actually before I forget, because I know I will forget. I did want to get the old you know, golden down here. Over to keep. No, sorry, I always manage town. Okay. Hail the Golden. Take Hero to Party. Yes. Okay. Hail, just remind me. Now, okay, he's he's not got a big party size, though, because his stewardship is so low. Um, He also doesn't have any focus points in it, which is a bit of a bummer. Could have him do a bit of smithing, and then I could focus a bit on stewardship. I suppose it's not a bad idea. Uh, That would allow him to... I could give him a party... Give him some soldiers. He would train his stewardship so the party would grow larger. Again, his tactics and leadership are high. So he is a, he is a very good uh, option for, uh, for a companion. For a, for a party leader, rather, I should say. And how many... Okay, we have room for two parties. So one more companion for a party. We have room for two companions. Okay. Okay, so let's try and find somebody. Either I could get somebody who's a good scout... Man, I can't believe Ali and Fatid both died. I could try and find somebody who's a good scout for myself, or I could try and find somebody who's a good commander for the Ishkas. You know what I mean? Like, those are my kind of options. Uh, I should also take a quick look at my own self. I've been asked this, and I keep forgetting. Partia is 50. Yeah, I was, I've been asked about his age. So Partia is 50. Um, Aftab is 13. Arahav Jadid is 10, and Fatima is still a baby at 8. Very well. Very well. Ottawa, by the way, is 42. I've, I've seen a lot of people suggest that I should leave her behind as a governor somewhere, but she was a warrior before we were married. She is a warrior. I'm not sitting behind some walls, protected and safe, hiding, cowering from battle. I don't think she'd be okay with that either. I think she would want to fight. I think she would want to be involved in uh, in the same dream that uh, that we've been involved in, right? So leaving her behind as a governor somewhere seems very uh, unfair to her. Yes, of course, we're afraid to see her die, but... What about ourselves, right? If we're going to make her a governor, then why shouldn't we just sit tight and, and, and govern somewhere? Obviously, that's not interesting to watch, but I'm applying that same logic to uh, Ottawa as well. Um, okay, so, feel the lucky Krotor of the Hills, the Grizzled, I believe that's a warrior, got an engineer, the Wanderer, these guys are pretty generic, a uh, decent fighter, I suppose. We'll get a long knife, roguish, I imagine, yeah. Frostbeard, okay. If we needed a scout, we have one in Frostbeard. Agna the Shield Maiden. I mean, okay, Shield Maiden tells me exactly what they are. Decent tactics on this guy. Peribard the Brave. Okay, decent tactics, decent leadership. Not as good as the Golden, but okay. Dude's an option. He's a Valandian. These guys. Why, why are your names in red? Hawk. They are the Black. And Aragon the Wrong. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards uh, Peribard the Brave here. 
kind of leaning towards Parabard the Brave. Decent, again, not amazing tactics for leadership, but decent. He's an alright warrior as well. He seems like a reasonable call. I might speak to him and, and, and see if we can get him to join us. Uh, and then at the same time, we will give this to, who was it, Okai, I believe. These guys are all nearby. These guys are all not nearby. Has anything changed while I... All right, of course, I can't check. Gotta give this to Okai. Well, folks, giving this city to Okai, seeing what happens with these guys, potentially engaging these guys. These guys are gonna have to run away. Unless these guys go this way, these guys are gonna have to run away, and I hope they have the uh, intelligence and wherewithal to do that. But this is, I think, we're gonna call it a session. Baikeon is still under siege by uh, the Batanians. I believe a couple of the castles up there are under siege as well. And yet, and yet the Kuzait decide to focus on Hassan Falk. Well, unfortunately for them, so has Partia. I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it. Y'all know the drill by now. That was tense. I had a lot of fun. Those were very stressful battles. Was it all worth it? In lives, I don't know. In entertainment value, I certainly hope so. I was entertained. <laughs> Apart from, you know, the heart palpitations. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Till next time, once more from Hassan Falk, I bid you farewell.